Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate my new portfolio site. I say new, it's not strictly that new, it was um, launched a few months ago in the summer, but I didn't get around to making a video about it, so let's just call it new. So to start off with we have a nice splash screen here with a strategically placed stock image of a MacBook to show how sophisticated a developer I am. But uh, moving on from that, uh, we've got two forms of navigation. On the left side we've got the navigation bar, which will take you to a different page. When you click on the yeah, items, pretty standard. And then we also have a linear navigation journey as well, which is pretty more suited to mobile devices and tablets. So if you uh, click this here, you go to the next page in the series. Here is the about page, and it's just kind of the usual guff that you write when you uh, do an about me page. It will be revised soon to be a little bit more useful, but it's just a summary of what I do, a picture to show that I'm legit. <laughs> and um, various skills and projects that I've worked on, just kind of an overview and then links to the rest of the site to give you a little bit more information. So moving on from that, we have the projects page and this is just a set of tiles when you hover over them you get all these nice effects here um, of all the projects that I've worked on in the past. I'm hoping to grow this section and I make more projects this year. That's one of my goals for 2018 and every year beyond that. Um, but at the moment it's got some of my older projects where I've just compiled together some information in screenshots. So one good example is Rebound, which is a game that I made for a competition a few years ago. I've just uh, created yeah, a small page to describe what the game does and I've linked to the source in GitHub as well. On some pages there are videos, so if I go to the block one here you can see I've got the screenshot description and then two videos because I did made the two videos about that. So going back down. So that's all great. Um, moving on from there, we've got the contacts page. Here you can type in the contact form. So send me whatever you like. Hopefully it's constructive. Um, also, if you want to see some other places that I hang around, such as LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub or YouTube, you can click these links here and it'll take you there in a new window. Um, and also, I've got a little bit of a site feedback, a little bit of validation. Um, so if you like the site, you can click the thumbs up, and if you disliked it, you can click the thumbs down. should make a few points about how the site is responsive for mobile devices. So if I just go into the develop tools here, I like this full screen, um, and go into the develop tools. As you can see here now, it's been adjusted down to um, sort of the size of a mobile device. You'll see that the menu has now changed. It's turned into a hamburger menu and there's bigger buttons so it's easier for your fingers to click rather than that side panel. Um, obviously if you stretch out a little bit then the menu comes back. So it's really mainly for mobile devices or small tablets. Um, this is also completely responsive so it just collapses the columns down based on how much real estate there is available. Um, yeah, and I should probably mention as well, just for the technical DLs, I wrote the style in SAS, which then obviously gets compiled to CSS. I'm using Angular, formerly known as Angular 2, to, to build it. It's the new Angular. Um, I do need to update the latest version, but it's somewhere in between Angular 2 and Angular 5. Um, yeah. So that's all there is really, um, if you're interested in looking at it, the web address is up here. Um, hopefully I have some more content uh, ready soon, so I guess I'll catch you next time.